Shalom, Shalom. Early morning <clears throat> plantation life. Whew. You know, through the Spirit. Call Yahweh Bahashum Yahweh Shai Bahashum Rakat Kudash Shalom Lobakarium Shaw Yasharala and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady. All right. And this is only for those that are serious, that are sincere. All right. For the house of mourning. For the house of faith, those that truly are sincere and believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. All right. And um, I was watching his lesson last night from the elder Malcolm. You know, and he was going into uh, this was almost a week ago. You know going into these unclean spirits, these demons, you know, he was given a testimony, you know, of what, uh, of what these demons, you know, they, 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 you know, they can't, they, you know, a little situation with his, with his children and her friends and et cetera, you know, being possessed by these spirits. All right, and they are, and and I'm, you know, the reason I want to land back on this is because I, you know, I've, 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 you know, I'm not here to, you know, saying that I'm the only one going through this. I know there's plenty of brothers and sisters that's going through this, but I've got a lot of experience in this area. You know, you know, I've, I've. I'm on an ongoing battle with these spirits. I guess that's my lot. No, I'm not even gonna guess. I believe that's my lot. You know, everyone got, you know, their own measure of faith. Everybody got their own measure of cup. All right? And um, to be honest, I've become more stronger, you know? And I'm not going to go on the whole story about these spirits because even before I got into this truth, even to, even before years, I'm talking about years when I was a kid, you know, that, um, that I was introduced into the truth, the Lord drew me in. You know, I've always had these ex spiritual experiences with demons, you know? Um, a lot of people call it a out-of-body experience. People call it the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the hood, growing up in the hood, we call it the witch uh, right in your back, you know, and that's when, um, these demons take hold of you in your sleep and you're, you know, you get a feeling of uh, being paralyzed. You can't move. You can't speak. You can't utter your voice. You're, 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 you're actually in terror. It's a sense of terror. I'm not going to lie. And I've experienced this when I was a, a, a child. I experienced it when I was a, t a teenager. When I experienced it, you know, uh, when I grew up to an adult. And even now in this truth, within this truth, these years that went by, but I've experienced it as well, over. So I believe that's just my lot, but I've become more numb to it. So whenever these topics come up, you know, you know, I'm just speaking from experience through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, I can uh, definitely relate. You know, and it is a spiritual battle. These these spirits, these demons are are always attacking. But see, you have to understand this. You know, the more you grow in spirit, the more you're going to tap into that spiritual realm. 
Because as the scriptures say, you know, we have to walk in the spirit. And your spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. You know? And when we, when, when we meditate, we fast, we pray, you know, we study, you know, we're, we're feeding the spirit. And the more you feed the spirit, the more you're edifying yourself, your spirit within you is, is, is overpowering the flesh. And now you're the, the heavenly father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, through the angels, uh, you know, manifest the spiritual realm more and more. This is why there's accounts of these spirits that we, we've encountered, you brothers and sisters. And I've touched on this topic plenty of times, but, you know, they are real. The battle is real. Sometimes you need prayers. No, I'm not even going to say sometimes. Let me correct myself. We always need prayers from the, from the, from the brotherhood. We always need to pray up because these spirits, they're going to constantly be here until Yahweh Shai come back. He's the only one that's going to lift up those curses. You know? So I want to play this, you know, maybe like about two, three minutes. I got it here on this 14-minute uh, mark with the elder Malcolm. It's going into a little bit of it. And then... um. We'll get some scriptures. And Lord will, you are edified in the spirit. The claws. All right? As you feel them grip and rip and tear your flesh, snatch your arm off, snatch chunks, bite chunks of you. There's going to be all kind of craziness happening. It says, for, for while they supposed to lie hid in their secret sins, they were scattered unto the dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. So, some of these things are going to appear to people and like I said, they're just going to get frightened and give up the ghosts right there. Okay. You know, and this, and, and this is, you know, and this makes me think about something that happened years ago with, with my, my sons and my daughter, you know, because I had a dream and I did a video about it. I, I had a video about, you know, did a video about a, a dream that I had. All right. And what's crazy. Um, before I even did the video. All right. If I remember, I'm trying to get I me. Mean, this has been so many years ago. All right. This is about a good eight, nine years ago. But I'm trying to remember if I spoke to them before I had the dream or I, if my dream was first. But nevertheless, uh, my son, my youngest son and my daughter. Had the same dream in the same night. And to the point that my daughter, it was so disturbing, she got up and went to her brother's room and he and he was getting he was waking up as well. And then they talked and they freaked out because they started talking and they both had just had the same dream. All right. She and Yada had the same dream. And then and then uh and, and then talking to Matt. Mac had the, and he knew nothing about this. He had the dream too, the very next night. And then that dream was a continuation of my dream. So, you, hey, look, man, when the Lord is dealing with you, the Lord is dealing with you. And some of you may not believe that, but this is, this is all true. <clears throat> and yeah, you know, the Heavenly Father, you got to understand, the Heavenly Father is a, is, is a power. He's a God of balance, All right? He's going to deal with, if he's dealing with you, he's definitely going to deal with you on, the, on, on that side as well. See, you, 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 you know, we, 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 we know, you know, you know, Christianity teaches you these false passes that everything is going to be harmony and birds chirping and rainbows nah man no when we come into this truth you as 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 Sirach, the book of Sirach goes into prepare yourself for temptation prepare yourself to be chastened <clears throat> you know the lord is going to teach you you think the lord is going to give you understanding here go the lord giving you the understanding Showing you certain secrets of the scriptures. 
right? Revealing to you the understanding. And then he's not going to tap and, and, and show you the left-hand side. Of course he is. That's the balance. That's, that's the trials. That's the tribulations. And them demons come with it. Again, they, they're here to do their job and, and, and to sharpen us, to be honest. You know? They're here to sharpen us. You know, they're, 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 yeah, they're, they're created beings to kill, destroy, lie, deceive, to do the works of the Heavenly Father on the left-hand side. You know? But if Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, you know, he, as, as Paul went into in the book of Corinthians, he'll give you a way to escape. You know, the Lord told Job, uh, uh, told Satan, Salakia, you know, you could do this to Job, you could do that to Job, but you can't take his life. Yahweh Tazah, Yahweh Tazah, Baba Kishaba, Nava Yahweh. You know, if you're, you're part of the elect, man. No matter what you go through in this life, you, you're going to rise up to the occasion. You're going to overcome. Because the Heavenly Father sees you as, as precious, that cluster. You know, let me go there real quick. Let's go there real quick. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon 3. I think it's 9. Let me make sure. Matter of fact, let's go into, uh, I'm going to read up a little bit. All right. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 4. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. You know, ultimately the reward is going to be uh, immortal, man. You know, that's why Paul went into the uh, suffering of the Lord cannot be compared to the glory that we're going to receive, man. Because, we, yeah, we're going through hell. Yeah, we getting attacked by these spirits. Yeah, we, we you know, it's vexing to the flesh and the mind. But that can't be compared to immortality, brothers. We're going to get, we're going to be able to partake in immortality, new bodies, a righteous kingdom, pure, clean. We're going to have new bodies, man. We're going to live forever. Think about that. This is something that these devils write in their novels and their fantasy books. These are things that this devil calls science fiction, but to us, it's a reality. Because it, because it is written, and the Lord is not a man that he shall lie, man. The Heavenly Father always fulfill his word, because he is pure in all power and omnipotent. Verse 5, and having been a little chastised, and, we, and that, listen, that's just being chastised a little. I mean, it may seem harsh. It may seem like, yeah, we're going through hell. Yeah, it is, because we're in the flesh. But it's only a little chastised, because if the, if the Heavenly Father wants it, man, he can make it worse. They shall be greatly rewarded. See? For the Most High Yahweh will prove them. See? And how, how the Heavenly Father's proving us through His Son. Everything goes back to Yahweh Shai. You know, I was going into this the other day at camp. Micah. All right? Through Yahweh Shai, Micah 3. Not Micah, Salaki, brothers. Malachi 3. And two, but who may be abide, who may abide the day of his coming? And who should stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller soap. And this is speaking about Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, let's go into uh, this word refiners. Strong's H, 6884. Tzaref. Tzaref. As you can see, to smelt, refine, to test. See? To test and prove true. All right? 
So we're we're in a proven we're in a proven stage. We're being tested. This is why we go through hell. This is why we being attacked by these unclean spirits. That's why we go through it, man. We're being proved. What the Lord said, for the most high proved them and found them worthy for himself. All right? Worthy for himself. Luke 21 and 34. And take heed to yourself, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness. And as you can see, these words are in red, so it's our Lord speaking. And cares of this life. That's why we're no longer partakers of this, this world. We actually hate it. I hate this place, man. I truly detest and despise this place. And as the years go by, I hate it even more. I hate coming to the stinking ass plantation. I, I hate looking at these people. I hate overhearing certain conversations that is vexing. They just speaking about bullshit, man. You know, it's vexing, man. Everything about Babylon the Great is vexing. But guess what? That's part of the proven stage as well. You know? And so that the day come upon you unawares. You don't want to be that that man. You don't want to be that 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 that, that guy that, you know, get distracted and then get caught up when your Howard Shah returns, or even before that in Jacob's trouble. A lot of Israelites are going to go into Jacob's trouble unprepared, you know, because they've been distracted with mirth. You see these other groups out here having a good time and then opening the Bible and reading and the this and that. Well, the Lord knows your thoughts, your imaginations, man. Second Ezra 16 and 54. Verse 35, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. When Yahweh Shai cracked those clouds, man, <laughs> man, the whole world going to know. So what the Lord said, watch ye therefore. That's why we constantly stay watching. And pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. All right? To be found them worthy for himself. See, the elect are worthy. They've been already predestined and, you know, created to overcome. Verse 6, as gold in the furnace, have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. And they are, uh, uh, they, and that what, what Paul went into? Paul went into that, right? Let's get that real quick. Romans 12. All right. Dedicated service. What is our reasonable service? To do the work, to study, to be a brother, to overcome, to admit your faults, to confess your sins, to accept correction, to be humble, meek. All right. To prove thyself in front of the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Even when you go through hell, man. Even you through go through the trials and tribulations. Even when you're getting attacked by these spirits. All right? I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies. See, the mercies of the Most High Yah, by Shem Shai. You know, we, we, we seek the mercies of David. That's why we beg. We should be begging the Lord. Your prayers should involve begging, man. Trust me. Baba Kasha, Natan Laya Hakasa Yam Shadawada, Baba Kasha, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. See? And in a time of their visitation, they shall shine and run. To and fro like sparks among the stubble. 
They should judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. That's what we're looking forward to, man. You know, spiritual powers, dominion, rulership with Yahweh Shai, ruling in a righteous kingdom. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. And it's the point right here for grace and mercy is to his saints and he have care for his elect. All right. So listen. All right. And in that dream, they were all uh, in the woods and they were waiting on me and shit had hit the fan. And guess what? Their mother wasn't there. She didn't make it. All right. And it's funny because I talked to her not too long ago. We haven't been on the best of terms, but we, you know, we actually talk now. And she knows about her sons and, and see their dedication and they believe. Her. It seems like she's actually starting to believe. And I actually told her that I, I forgive her. And that, um, you know, I'll see her on the other side and she'll be mine again. And you know what she said? Shockingly to my surprise. She said that sounds good to her. All right. So, hey, yeah, yeah, the Lord, man, look, the Lord is beautiful, man. You know, you, hey, you know, we, we, we all got our ex demons, you know, some, some of them don't believe some of them do whatever. And yeah, claim them. Even if you're not with them, claim them because the heavenly father will give them back to you in the kingdom. They might not be the number one wife, but they'll be one of your wives. All right. Lord, the Lord, the Lord is very balanced, man. You know, let's listen a little bit more. But you got to understand, man. Uh, just let me read Jeremiah three and one. <laughs> <clears throat> but the point is made, you know, he had a dream about these demons attacking. You know, he was terrified, moved by it in his dream. And um, his children had the same exact dream. All right. And um, these demons, they do visit you during, during your sleep as well. A lot of times it happens between what I've noticed. This is just my personal experience you know, between 11, sometimes 11 and 3 in the morning, between that time, you know. And um, I want to share something real quick. Yeah, the other day, last week, uh, you know, I was in my bed. I went to sleep, and I had a vision, a dream, a quick one. And, you know, there was a real ugly-ass demon jumped on top of me in the bed and was fighting with me. And he had my arms and he was trying to pin me down and I was fighting back with him. We was, we was, you know, we was going back and forth, tug of war, you know, and he was, uh, you know, telling me, you know, Yahweh is not his name. Yahweh Shai is not his name. It's it's Jesus. And we know damn well his name is named Jesus. You know? And I, I say Yahweh. Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah kept yelling at him to the point when, you know, he had to let me go. Remember, these demons come to create mischief and doubt and to deceive. That's just their job. But then it goes back to what? Being approved, brother, being tested. <clears throat> you know, real ugly demons. But um, you know that I I wanted to touch on that. Let's go into uh, some scriptures. I'm not gonna get too many scriptures. Maybe one or two. All right.
All right, let's get let's get Mark one twenty five. I want to show you, brothers. All right, Mark one twenty five, and I'm gonna jump down because we got the spirit of Yahweh Shai. If you're sincere. Let me see. All right, let's go to, let's start at 22. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And our Lord didn't play no games, man. The Lord was, you know, an austere man. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou yahweh shy of nazareth so inside the synagogue you had a damn demon working on on a, on a man right and as you can see they knew our lord because remember yahweh shy created them and they called them yahweh shy are thou come to destroy us? I know thee. See? <laughs> I know thee, who thou art, the Holy One of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, these spirits know. And they see that spirit on you. They see Yahweh Shai in you. They see the spirit of truth. They see the comfort in you. You know, and they and, and these demons, they attack brothers all the time because that spirit is is teaching them. They see it. Verse 25, look what the Lord said. And Yahweh Shai rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And I got it right here. When you go into that, let me just get it real quick. Right here. Hold thy peace. And come out of them, right? The Lord rebuked them. Hold thy peace, right here. To close the mouth. All right? To reduce to silence. They know not to speak, you know, against Yahweh Shai. But this is it, to kept in check. You know, you check people sometimes. You know, in the, in, the, in the, going up, you 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 we we in the hood, we used to say, "Hey, man," you know, I'm going G check you, man, or your father G checked you, or the homie G checked you. You know, Yahweh has power over these spirits, and that same power is is working with us. Like uh, the elder Malcolm said, the Lord dealing with you, man. This thing ain't gonna be no. Again, there ain't gonna be uh, no no smooth uh, no smooth ride, man. But we had that same spirit, and as long as we keep the faith and go, and, and 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 keep the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we could keep these spirits in check. And the Lord gives us the power to do that. All right. So, you know. You know, that, that's it on it. I just wanted to share that with you, brothers and sisters. Lord willing, Yahratazah, you're edified in the spirit. You know? Call all Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukak Kudash. Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala, and double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady. Again, this is only for the house of mourning, the house of faith, those that truly are sincere and believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. All right? So, brothers and sisters, don't get overwhelmed. This is just part of the battle. All right? This is part of the battle. Just keep fighting and praying. And to the old elect out there and the elect lady and your children, 
You know, may the most high mercy, I pray for you and you, and, and we pray for one another. Prayer is powerful, man. Prayer is powerful, man. That's why Paul spoke about that. He said, pray for one another. And there's another scripture uh, uh, goes into pray without ceasing. Because prayer is powerful, especially if you are a sincere sister and brother. You know, you, you're praying for one for one brother. You, 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 you know, you're putting your prayers and those prayers, you know, are, are like a sweet savor smells offering to the Lord. Especially if you, you, you both are, are praying for the same thing, you know. You know, we pray for each other, man. The Lord loves that. He like, you know, we're crying and sighing. You know, and the Lord, the Lord is, Lord is no joke. But at the same time, he, he, you know, he's balanced. Without that balance, everything would be out, out of order. All right. So, man, Lord willing, you are edified. You know, shalom.